only a sample size of a thousand, um, and uh, actually it's actually only 474. Um, so there, that was my mistake. It's actually only a sample of 474, um, and uh, we can see that it's roughly approximating a normal distribution. It's not perfect. Uh, there's a couple of observations out here. Whether these are outliers? Well, that's a good question. I I can tell uh, that's how you can test that uh, using a statistical procedure, which I'll make a, a video for after this one. Here's the normal QQ plot for a normal distribution, and I think when sa people probably rely on this more than anything because when you're testing something for statistical significance, whereas well, the sample size gets larger, the more likely you are going to reject the null hypothesis, and um, Sometimes you're not interested in such a strict hypothesis. You just want to know whether roughly they approximate a normal distribution. And you can get a sense of that by looking at the histogram. And you can also get a sense of that by looking at the normal QQ plot. And what we expect here is that the observations will all be hugging or be very close to the line. And in this case, all the observations here are close to the line. We just have two on a little bit outlying here and one a little bit outlying here. Whether these are outliers or not, Again, we would test that somewhere else, but for I'll test that some in another video. But in terms of a normal distribution, I think we're all right. I think the detrended normal QQ plot basically tells us the same information. In some sense, it might be a little bit more uh, conspicuous at showing uh, differences or outliers. Uh, but I think it's it's basically telling us the same story. It uses a different procedure, um, but. Uh, I'm just going to skip over it. I don't rely upon that very much, to be honest. Uh, and then we have a box plot. Uh, and I think this is also better for, for looking at outliers. Now, um, there's one point I do want to make about um, the uh, Kolgomorov and the Shapiro-Wilk test, is that although the Shapiro-Wilk is considered a far better test than the kolmogorov smirnov test, uh, it's particularly useful when there aren't a lot of observations with the same value. So in this case, there aren't a lot of observations with the same value in the sense that values range from 20 to 80 and um, there's a lot of uh, variability in, in what the values take. But if you t think of something like a scale of 1 to 5 or 1 to 10, most values are probably going to be something like 4 to 6. Um, and in those cases, the Shapiro-Wilk isn't quite as good. So it's better for very continuous, uh, continuously measured variables. Now let's look at the variable that I believe to be non-normally distributed. And um, this is what it looks like in a histogram. It's pretty obvious it's not normally distributed. It's got a positive skew because the tail is pushing out on the right side of the, of the um, chart. Now if we look at the uh, normal QQ plot, we can see it's not hugging. The, these observations here are not hugging the line nice and closely and tightly like the normal distribution uh, example did. Uh, there's actually um, non-linearity in the curve. It's going from, it goes up and up and up and then it kind of trends off over here. And that's basically where the skew is happening. Uh, and the detrended plot is also giving us a similar example. It's, uh, it's uh, coming down, coming down, and then goes up, and then it just keeps going up and up. Looks very different to what this looks like here. This is what a normal distribution looks like on the detrended normal QQ plot. Kind of a zigzag uh, looked about it. Whereas in the non-normally distributed data, it's got more of a V with a long tail, kind of like the Nike symbol. Um, and then we have a box plot. Uh, and we've got a number of observations, whether any of these are outliers, again, is something to be tested in another video. But that's how you can test a normal distribution in uh, SPSS. I think I would rely mostly on the histogram, and I would rely on the normal QQ plot. Uh, you can rely on the statistical test, so as long as you know that they are limited. The kolmogorov smirnov test is useless, and the uh, Shapiro-Wilk test is much better, but it actually breaks down to a certain degree when the values do not take when the observations do not take a long, large range of different values uh, and finally maybe I'll do a, a video on the uh, D'Agostino method uh, in SPSS which some people argue is actually the best way to do it if you want to know about a statistical significant way of testing normal distributions uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about uh, normal distribution testing